When it comes down to visualizing lots and lots of data, you have basically two choices. It's pagination or virtualization. In my personal project, I prefer virtualization. And since in the previous video, when I was talking about render props pattern and how I use it in combination with React hooks, I showed this virtualized list component. And one of the viewers asked me if I can share more examples of the code where I visualize lots of data. So I figured why not to do that? But first of all, when does it make sense to use pagination and when does it make sense to use virtualization? I guess generally it's up to a designer or UX specialist or you as a developer. Pagination is way more popular approach and the reason for it might be in the fact that with the pagination you give a brief overview of how many items to expect because you could show something like this here we don't know how many items to expect but for example on the Amazon website we know that there are seven pages of how many items we show per page so we roughly have a complete overview of how many items will be there when it comes down to virtualization it more makes sense in the context of this infinitely scrolled list like Facebook newsfeed, Instagram newsfeed, etc., where we cannot really quantify the amount of items to show. So we just infinitely scroll through them. But for my application, I feel like virtualization gives a very nice user experience. And also my users don't really care about how many items in the list so they just scroll them and virtualization just helped me not to load all items at once because that will be unnecessary because users will never see all the items at once so how do i build this virtualized list in order to build a virtualized or paginated list we need a front end part and a back end part back end part needs to support providing you chunks of the data you request. Also, in case of pagination, it also, I think, a very good developer experience or maybe even a necessity to actually show what is the total amount of items backend can return. And then you request a page and a certain amount of items at that page. And exactly the same approach can be used for virtualization. So from the backend perspective, both pagination and virtualization will be quite similar. So if we look at my application, I have this fixed virtualized list that has few properties, estimated size of the item, because when you build a virtualized list and elements will be lo lazy loaded, in order to provide you with that virtualized experience, the, the library that implements this need to estimate how much space each item consumes. Then there is a list of all the items and possibility to load more items. So how do I load more items? How do I even load items? So the items are provided through this function get all decks. And what this function does is it just combines the previously fetched result with the latest fetch result from the backend. The data is fetched from the backend using this hook. And this hook is just a wrapper around very primitive library that I cannot necessarily recommend. It's called use Axios. And it's basically a very thin wrapper around the access that provides you with the React hooks. In a more serious application, you should use something more established like React Query or SWR. But for me, this approach works. So here I specify that it will be a post that with URL and fetching will be manual. Manual means I have a function called refetch, so I can manually fetch more. So when the page loads, I kind of get the information from the URL about which data specifically to load, and then I fetch first batch of data that goes through this get all dax function that combines it with the previous result. So on initial load, it's the previous result is an empty array. In other words, I fed into the list only this first batch of data that is fetched. And inside that component, I use use virtualizer from Tanstack Virtual, definitely a library I can recommend. There is a custom hook they provide you with that requires you to specify the 
total amount of items that will be virtualized, reference to the scroll element, estimated size of one row or one item, and overscan, if I recall correctly, is how many items ahead will it load. Because obviously the whole gist of virtualization or pagination is to minimize the amount of UI components rendered to the browser. So in case of pagination, we render only components that are on the current page. In terms of virtualization, we need to create the components that are visible inside the viewport and destroy or do not create elements that are not visible. And then during the scroll, when the user is scrolling the list, we need to start creating these items that were outside of the viewport, just right before they come into the viewport and destroy those items that leave viewport. And then we basically delete and create all the time, depending on the direction of the scroll. And for, specifically for my custom component called fixed virtualized list, I have a property called lazy, meaning that because I use this component in several places in the application, not every place require a lazy loading from the backend. Sometimes for some pages, the data is already on the front end all the time. And lazy is just a property that uses another special component called InView from the package React Intersection Observer, which is basically uh, React Intersection Observer provides you an InView component and use InView hooks that allow you to use Intersection Observer API inside the React in a nice React friendly way. So in other words, this in view will trigger on change because of the intersection observer before or like right when it will come into the view. And so that my component indicates to the user that they can load more data if they want to. When more data can be loaded, I basically tell the backend, give me another page of data. And when this another chunk of data will be fetched. This deck component will re-render, the get all decks function will be called again, and the previously fetched data will be concatenated with the newly fetched data. Backend side is a very simple Express application with MongoDB database. I have this controller called get all public decks to which you can pass this skip and limit parameters. I use this aggregate function from Mongo database. Uh, aggregate function allows you to make basically some sort of inner join for NoSQL data. And in my case, I build this pipeline thing, which will sort the data in the descending order to do this page things. Uh, when the skip and limit is provided, they are also added into this pipeline. And then, and then this aggregate comes into play because of this lookup operator or I don't really know MongoDB terminology. As you can see here, this code has been written like three years ago. I don't even remember what it does. I just like roughly have an idea that I basically inner join the DEX table and the users table here in order to fetch some user information that previously been shown on the front end. But the most important part here is from the pagination or virtualization perspective is of course possibility to provide skip and limit to the backend so that you can request the next chunk of data. And then we have it. I really hope it was useful. Thank you for watching and see you next time.